Bible says that now after these things, God said to Abraham, take your son, your only son, Isaac, son. Remember the revelation I gave you about son. It validates a man. It validates Abraham. Take your only son, Isaac, whom you love. God added that. I know you love him. Whom you love. Take him to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I will show you. And the Bible says in verse 3, Abraham saddled his donkey, took wood, took an axe, and said, let's go with two servants. Moment God said, what you hold dear, give, he gave. Praise the Lord. If you love somebody, you will give to them. For God so loved us, he gave us his son. Praise the Lord. So Christmas, yes, it's about love. It's about joy to the world. It's about peace on earth. It's about goodwill toward all men. But it's also about giving. Praise the Lord. I bet many people would have gotten to church earlier today if it wasn't for the, the boxes and the gifts they were opening. It's Lord, most of us down. So it's about the giving. Praise the Lord. But if you are willing to give to a person who wasn't born for the season, but not willing to go the extra mile for the main attraction of the season, misplaced priorities. Praise the Lord. Bible says that physical things are expedient, but spiritual things are more expedient. So Paul writes in 1 Corinthians and says, all things are expedient to me, but all things are not lawful to me. What he's saying there is that things that are expedient, I will participate in it. However, I know that the natural things cannot compare the things of the spirit, because the things of the spirit surpasses. So give to the natural, but make sure you do to God. Praise the Lord. Say it's about giving. Let me end with this. Giving to God releases his blessings in our lives. Anytime you give, it releases a blessing. It is a principle in life. Please follow this principle. God gave his only begotten son. Do we agree that when you have a son, a son is part of your family. Do we agree? Okay. So God gave a part of his family. His only begotten son, Jesus. And as a result of God giving Jesus, you and I have become part of God's family. So God gives, it triggers a blessing to God himself. So the principle in life is that when you give, it opens up for blessing. You can never get the blessing of food until you give out food. You must first eject some for room to be created for further consumption of food. Parable. <laughs> you can never inhale oxygen until you first give out. If you like refuse to give out the carbon dioxide that you, you won't breathe it out. The principle in life is you give in order to receive. Give the food receive food. Give out carbon dioxide. Receive oxygen. It is a principle of life. The sociologists call it the principle of dynamic exchange. Give something to receive something. So Jesus taught his disciples in Luke 6 38 that give and it shall be given unto you in good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Running over. You give in order to receive. Praise the Lord. Then, the author of Acts chapter 20, who wrote Acts? Dr. Luke. Luke wrote Acts. And Acts chapter 20, verse 35, Luke wrote and said that, remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. How he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. Amen. When you give, you receive a blessing. Giving always brings a blessing. Here is the man Solomon. He gave God something that pleased him. And at night when he was on his bed, God appeared to him in his dream. First Kings chapter 3 verse number 5. And God says that, ask, ask, what shall I give you? And I will give it to you. Somebody say ask. So here is what he's saying. He said, when you ask whatever you desire, I will give to you. Blank check. God gave Solomon blank check. 
Whatever you want, I will give to you. When Hannah eagerly wanted the blessing of a child, she used the avenue of giving. There are some challenges in life that we face that prayer alone is insufficient and incapable of solving until we buttress our prayers with giving. Praise the Lord. So, never take this spiritual principle for granted. Never take this spiritual principle for granted. Amen. Some Christians take spiritual principles for granted and the principles never benefit them. Even if it's your own son, like Isaac, that God is asking you, Abraham, you should have faith enough to give it. Even if it is your last meal, like the widow of Zarephath, you should. Praise the Lord. So blessings come to people who willingly give. Keep this well-proven kingdom principle in mind. Giving to God releases his blessings in our lives. Please say with me, giving to God releases. Say one more time, giving to God. Say to somebody, giving to God releases his blessings in our lives. Amen. So as we celebrate Christmas, this December 25th, let us remember that the one whose birth we celebrate was given. And he wants us to be also givers as well. Giving opens the door for God to bless us, to remove difficulties and obstacles out of our lives, and to give us the miracle breakthroughs that we desire. Amen. By your heads, let's pray. On this Christmas day, take a moment and ask God to look into your life and to remove every difficulty you are facing out of your life and to bring you solutions to every problem. Talk to him now in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, on this Christmas day, remove every difficulty that I'm facing. Remove it out of my life. Bring me the solutions to the problems of this life. In the name of Jesus, you are God and you are King. Lord, locate in everyone's life any difficulty, any challenge that anyone is facing. Locate it and remove it from their lives in the name of Jesus. Is somebody's problem, Lord, and their challenge. My Lord, maybe it is with their health. Maybe, Lord, it is with their marriage. Maybe, Lord, it is with their, with, with their finances. Maybe over an um, employment. Maybe it's over, Lord, a childbearing issue. There is nothing too hard for you on this Christmas day. Lord, we are reminded by your word that you have the capability. You have the capacity. You have the ability and the power to remove obstacles. To remove, Lord, troubles, challenges, problems, difficulties out of our lives. Reach into our lives. Remove every difficulty. In the name of Jesus, provide the solutions to the problems we so desire in the mighty name of Jesus. Talk to him now. In the name of Jesus. Talk to him. In the name of Jesus. That he will remove. He will take out of your life uh, any difficulty, any challenge, any setback you are dealing with in Jesus name. God knows our hearts. Say God knows my heart. David prayed and said search my heart thoroughly Lord. He knows our hearts. God knows our hearts that we will be superbly generous givers if we have abundance we are about to step into a new year i want you to please pray and say that lord in this new year that i'm about to step into bless me with abundance bless me with abundance that i will be one of the givers into your kingdom in the name of jesus talk to god now in the name of jesus god knows our hearts that will be superbly generous if we have abundance. His word says that he will bless us to be a blessing. So Lord, we pray that you will bless us to be a blessing. To be a blessing to people. To be a blessing to your holy work. To be a blessing to your cause and to your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we receive grace for abundance. Abundance grace. We ask, oh Lord, that you will make us a blessing to your cause. A blessing to your holy work. A blessing to your church. In the name of Jesus, that every Christmas will be reminded not only love not only joy not only peace not only goodwill but that lord you came because you were given to us make us give us hannah gave and you open a blessing for hannah lord the widow of zarephath gave and you open a blessing for her my lord we know that giving brings a blessing and this very moment as we pray we are asking in the name of jesus for blessings lord to be generated lord and activated in our lives as a result of our generosity and our giving in the name of Jesus pray for abundance we ask oh God that you will position us in your will to become beneficiaries 
O Lord, and possessors of substance. Let us inherit wealth, inherit financial abundance. We pray into the new year we are about to enter. As we stand on this 25th day of December, we project into 2016 from January 1st through to the end of the year. The Lord, abundance will be our portion. No lack, no insufficiency. In the name of Jesus, you are a kind God. You are a kind God. Go ahead of us. Make all things well in our lives. In the name of Jesus, like you did for the widow of Zarephath, we pray abundance. We pray abundance. We pray abundance. We pray abundance. We ask in the name of Jesus, bless us with abundance in 2016 that you will make us superb givers in the name of Jesus to your holy work, to your cause, to your church in Jesus' name. This is a biblical principle that when you give, you get blessed. Lift your right hand. Let me make this declaration over you. I declare, say with me, I declare that Jesus is the dearest son of God who was given for my redemption and my salvation. I, I confess that Jesus is my Lord. I believe with all my heart that he was born without sin. He died and rose again. Because of Jesus, I have eternal life. I forever open my heart to you, Jesus. Reign and rule in my life as my Savior and as my Lord. I am glad that I belong to you, Jesus. Give him praise. Amen. I am glad. I belong. Come on, sing it to Jesus. I am glad I belong. Sing, I am glad. I belong to Jesus. Sing, I am glad. I belong to Jesus. Sing, I am glad. I am glad that I belong to Jesus. Sing, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sing praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am glad. Sing, I am glad. I am glad lift your hands and say I am glad that I belong to no other but to Jesus amen give Jesus a clap hallelujah amen ask your neighbor before you take your seat who do you belong to ask your neighbor that who do you who do you belong to who do you do, who do you belong to who do you belong to Jesus the reason Lord Jesus the God come in the flesh. No, no, no. I don't belong to any other. I don't belong to Muhammad. No, 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 no. I don't belong to Confucius. No, 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 no. I don't belong to any other. I belong to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Come on, sing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. And hallelujah, praise the Lord. Sing praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Shout Jesus! Sometimes just by shouting.
mention his name, the Bible says that at the mention of the name Jesus, demons tremble. The Bible says that the sound of his name, every knee bow. Today, this Christmas, you must have a joyous Christmas. I don't know any being that is refusing to bow before you. But at the mention of the name Jesus, the demons that tremble, I mean, I mean, that, that trouble you, they tremble, amen. Even the demons, whether they are in the Caribbean, or they are in Africa, or they are in North America, anywhere they are, geographical location, at the name of Jesus, some of them are waiting that today you call them. You haven't called them. They are waiting on you. You are sitting in church. Oh, who they call? Who they call? Say Jesus. Oh! They are trembling. They are trembling. They are trembling. Oh! Hallelujah. Jesus. At the mention of the name. Jesus. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Jesus is Lord. Say one more time. Jesus. Demons tremble at the name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now fear not. Go and make the calls. Call your village. Call and say, I call to say, hey, how are you? I'm alive, covered in the blood. In Jesus' name, amen. Give Jesus a clap.